Will you please explain the thyroid? <laughs> the thyroid. The magical, <laughs> mystical thyroid. <laughs> the thyroid gland, which sits right here just below our voice box, right in this lower area of the, of the throat, is a master gland. We call it a master endocrine gland because it sets the frequencies of energies, controls the energy in the body uh, by stimulating by stimulating the production of hormones, specifically, and some enzymes uh, that might be produced or released in other endocrine glands, such as the gonads, such as um, the pancreas, uh, other aspects of these fantastic ductless glands that pour their magic, uh, their hormones, into the blood of the body. What we're seeing on the planet today is that because of the uh, ambient radiation, th that ambient radiation is um, uh, basically destroying our thyroid glands so that they are unable to uh, stimulate the production or the, the activation of energy in the body. And so people uh, literally gain weight, they feel on automatic pilot, they feel depressed, they feel they don't have the energy to face their lives, and they don't realize that it just has to do with this master gland here, and that we can do this, we can alter it uh, through our own consciousness. So the thyroid gland is one of the most important points of focus within our physiological body to make us well, to make us energetic, to make us... Um, I see the world as a positive place. Uh, on top of the thyroid gland sit the two parathyroids, little tiny uh, glands, parathyroids, that also produce hormones and have to do with the calcium balance in the body. So if your thyroid gland isn't working, you can be sure that your parathyroids are also going to be affected. And if we don't have a balance of calcium in our body, it, it stresses the nervous system, so we feel irritable. Again, we feel exhausted. Uh, calcium is very important, not only for our bones and teeth and hair, but for the, the peace that we can feel, the serenity in our lives. And so when we address the thyroids, we're really affecting this whole area. Now spiritually, forever, we have spoke of the throat chakra, which is an energy center uh, where the energy spins like a vortex, and we call it the center of communication. So if the thyroid isn't functioning, then we're also going to have that conversation of communicating uh, from ourselves to the outside world. So we want to take care of our thyroids. Many people today uh, find themselves having to take supplemental uh, thyroxin or uh, uh, synthetic hormones that stimulate the thyroid gland. Uh, you can do this, you can balance your thyroid simply by wielding a light because the endocrine glands are actually the threshold between the light body or the spiritual body and the physiological body. Our physiological body is made of light. Every time we make a new cell, it's created in an ultraviolet medium. And so the body is very sensitive to light, especially the endocrines. So the thyroid, uh, if it wants to be quickened or balanced, uh, will call for energy. Now some people are, have um, their thyroid functions too slowly. And so they, again, they're tired, they can't get rid of weight, they, they um, uh, have digestive problems because the thyroid again is is moving all the other endocrine glands which are moving the inner organs of the body. Uh, some people are hyperthyroid, uh, which means it's spinning too fast and their metabolism is moving too fast so they can't find a place of being steady. So when we send light that is asked for by the thyroid, we can balance that to hyper to hypo and bring it into a place of harmony. Uh, so we can do that exercise right now. I would like to, uh, before we do that, talk about a technique that is very effective in balancing the thyroid gland and a way that you can know, is it your thyroid gland that's causing you to be on an automatic pilot or is it something else? And that's by using the, the regular, pure, 
uh, cheap iodine that you can get in the drugstore and making a little circle about the size of a quarter. It's best on any of your soft tissue uh, around your umbilical area and the inner part of your upper arm or the inner part of your thigh. Uh, I often use it um, on my wrists so that I can look at it when I'm working or I'm flying. Flying in airplanes definitely uh, imbalances the thyroid gland because again of the uh, ambient radiation. And if your thyroid is functioning, the stain of the iodine will last about 24 hours. Most people have a thyroid that's functioning at about a fourth. It'll, it'll last, the stain will last about maybe six or eight hours, maybe 10 hours, uh, and almost no more. I don't think I've ever met anyone who's had it last 24 hours. Once it disappears, then you put it on another place in your body. And you keep doing that until the stain that you have placed lasts for 24 hours. That not only will tell you whether it's functioning properly at this moment in your life, because you may, have, you may be uh, taking thyroxine or some other thyroid medicine, but right now uh, your dosage isn't correct because your body's been exposed to traveling or it's been exposed to something else. Here in New Mexico, uh, we do have a lot of uh, radiation coming from the earth, coming from above, coming from what's been released in the atmosphere. This uh, usage of iodine, which is sucked up into the bloodstream and delivered directly to the thyroid, uh, will actually cure the thyroid. And that's why people, after they've been using it for a while, will say, heavens, it's staying now. And uh, that helps them to be able to reduce the amount of uh, synthetic uh, hormone uh, that they've been taking. So this is a wonderful way of being your own healer. It's really good to know. It is, because so many people are having this problem right mm -hmm. now. And uh, sometimes uh, I read a paper recently that said well, it could also be, and here's what I was talking about, the the tying in of the endocrine system that the thyroid isn't functioning because the adrenals are not functioning, because they are all connected. The adrenals are P-shaped glands, adrenal glands, um, that sit on the, the kidneys, part of the endocrine system, and they are the fight or flight. And so because so many people are continually, perpetually stressed in their lives, they stress of the uh, adrenals, which are always putting out adrenaline, because, oh, what if this happens? Oh, what if that happens? Kind of conversation that goes on day and night, which is one of the reasons people don't sleep well anymore. If you don't sleep well, also your adrenals are going to be stressed. Uh, and so that affects the thyroid. So there's a dance there. Uh, if, you, if you get your thyroids in balance, it's going to help your endocrines. If your thyroids just seem to be all over the place, by doing the same exercise that we're going to do right now, instead of to the thyroids, to the adrenals, which are right around the waist, uh, up above the ribs in the back. And by sending light to your adrenals, your thyroids will function more appropriately and uh, more in balance as well.